Hello guys, welcome back. So in the previous video we left it at the point where uh, the character can identify the block point and uh, uh, mantle it, both uh, short hand mantle and the uh, uh, long mantle. Now we will fix the character's position so that uh, it looks to uh, accurate to an extent. So open your uh, uh, animation montage and uh, create a notify and name it as move to position and this we will do it uh, exactly at somewhere here okay so this is where it's keeping the hand so keep pushing it here <coughs> do it for the other montage also now when you do it on your second montage when you go to add him notify go to skeleton notifies and the existing notify which you created will be there and just add it here okay so even this we need to position it properly so this is where it's keeping the hand so i think this should be fine then now uh, we have to write the code for this so to do that go to the anim bp and on your, on your event graph create a new graph anim notify so on anim notify you on the anim notify graph create a new uh, uh, event so you can get this once we have created uh, the notify on the animation montages you should be able to see it on your uh, blueprint if you are doing it for the same skeleton so if it is not visible here then that means your uh, animation and the animation BP are of different skeleton so here uh, we will get the zombie stuff Because we have the wall location everything stored here and we have already casted this zombie uh, ref here so we can use it directly from this and we will make sure it is valid, valid. Uh, we will better use a validate git that, that looks simpler so if it is valid then we will set the actor location actor is our uh, uh, zombie ref ok so this should be fine and to get the zombies location I mean uh, to get the exact point where we have to set this get the current location of the actor split this then uh, get the wall height Mantle wall height and uh, make this to a vector. Connect this here. Y should be the same. And for Z, we have to add it to uh, the position offset which we have created on zombie character earlier. So we will adjust this uh, position offset value to get our right uh, uh, position. So this will be our uh, target point. Okay, this should be fine. Okay, now let's test this. And we haven't added the position offset values here. We don't need this anymore. I'll remove this print string and question of offset values we haven't set so this is just trial and error and it differs from project to project so the values which i am showing might not suit uh, uh, your uh, project and uh, your character and anything so uh, even for me uh, this values differ from my test project and this project so it's better you just do a trial and error here and uh, make sure it's positioned properly. Okay, she's not seeing me.
okay okay so this is too low so let me do some trial and error and uh, set the value Okay, so these values uh, suit for me. So for uh, the small mantle, uh, position offset as 0 and uh, for the long one, offset as minus 60. So this suits me. Let's try adjusting it and see if it suits uh, all the scenarios. And on uh, rare cases, when it is mantling, the character might tilt, uh, so tilt to a different uh, angle. So we just want the yaw to be same, facing towards the actor. So rest all uh, rotation should be uh, uh, neutral. So we will just adjust that here. So if it is jumping, then uh, we will set the capsule rotation. And for the rotation, we will uh, get it again from capsule component itself. So we are setting the uh, Z value from the uh, capsule component. So this will make sure the character doesn't tilt on uh, either face okay okay so this looks fine uh, in next video, we will see uh, about attack animations, attack montage and uh, how to uh, set damage. Thanks for watching.